Okay, I started to do the uh, front brakes on this, and there's the uh, front wheels. I used my uh, Milwaukee gun to take them off. It's a 33 millimeter socket to take the uh, nuts off. There's all the nuts. And here's the caliper, and it just has two bolts. There are two bolts right here that go right here when the caliper's on, and these are the slide pins. And you want to pull these out, there's a rubber boot. Actually pull it out. And you want to make sure that's nice and greased. If these things don't slide, then the caliper will stay hung up and then you'll wipe out the inside of the uh, brake pads. So, all right, these here are the brakes and they just rest in like such. And you just pull them off of there. I actually had to tap them with a hammer. But you can see where they go. They rest right up in there. And then same with this one down here, just like that. Now it's important to notice there's these little metal brackets here that clip on. Those kind of, they're like an anti-rattle clip. And uh, you kind of want to replace them. The big killer with this bus is it, it sat longer. It sat more than it actually drove. So I'm actually having to cha change the rotors because they're they're just they're, they're, they've kind of like started to rust to the point that you can't really clean them up this one's not too bad but if you look in the uh you go in a garage already got the other side off you can take a look at that rust i mean there's just no way of cleaning that up it's just too heavily pitted and there's the passenger side hub the bearings are out and i had to go in there and clean all that grease out and then take some brake cleaner and wash it all down real good. Make sure you get all the dirt out. And these are the bolts that hold the rotor onto the back of the hub. So when you're looking at the front of the wheel, okay, that's the front and the rotor would actually be behind it. And once again, I use this bad beast here. This is the Milwaukee three quarter inch anvil gun. Zip them right off. So, now what I need to do is, well, let me show you the, uh, the bearings. So, when you actually take one of these hubs off, first let's go over here. If you can imagine the hub and rotor on, okay. There's the shaft you actually have to, this is threaded. And what you're gonna do is, There's a cap there. Some of these hubs have oil and there's a little rubber plug and you actually have to make sure it's full with oil. There's a little clear glass that you can see how much oil's in it. These are not like that. These are actually grease. There's wheel bearing grease in there. And uh, so what you gotta do is take these four bolts out. They're half inch. Take a screwdriver, pry this little cap off and then you'll see that shaft sticking out. And when that shaft's sticking out, there's a nut. You see that nut in there? And there's a washer. When the bearings and everything's in there, you'll see that washer. And if you look at that washer, you can see that washer's got a flat spot on it because it only goes on one way. And then there's the nut. Here's the back of the bearing and there's the seal. There are seals on the back side of the hub so that the grease doesn't just sling all over the place. It keeps the grease contained. And on the front, you can see where that little hub cover goes. You have to put a little silicone gasket on and put the cap back on and snug them up. So, so what we're doing now, as I said, the biggest problem with this bus was because it sat more than it drove, there's a lot of heavy, scaly rust on it. And one of the killers is, if you can look in here, see how rusty that is? And what that does is that actually gets up under this metal. And the metal actually starts to... Uh, this little bracket or this little anti-rattle clip is actually like kind of got pressure under because the rust is pushing up under it. So got to take all this off and actually bang all the old rust off. You can see like down here, you got to, I like to scrape all that shit out of there and get it all cleaned up. And like I said, the brake pads, they're like really good shape. When they're wore out, you'll no longer see this groove here. It'll actually come all the way down to here. And that's when you know you're at the max. So, but we're going to wind up putting new brakes on, new rotors, clean the bearings all up, repack them with grease, 
put new seals in it. Like I said, the seals in the very back, you can't see it, but it goes on the back side of this hub right here. And as I showed those five bolts that hold the rotor on, you could see right here, the bolts are coming in this way. And uh, those were pretty snug. They were actually tighter than the actual lug nuts, uh, mainly because you only have five here, you got 10. So, but that's what we're doing right now. And uh, I just got to get this all taken apart. So when I get the new rotors and brakes, I can slap everything on. But like I said, you got to get all this scaly rust off and clean this all up. And uh, you can see, you want to make sure you get that crap all out of there. So when you put this all back together, you don't get rust stuck in the places you really don't want. So, all right, well, I'm going to get back to work here. And uh, this side is already done. I'm just waiting for the new parts. And what I did was I just sprayed. You can see this is where on the back of the hub, the grease seal will ride. It rides on there and it keeps grease from just slinging out and covering everything with uh, uh, grease. Uh, the back ones are a much different setup. Uh, they're actually using the gear oil and the axle, so um, it doesn't use grease. It's a different setup. So, but that's where we're at. I'll have to get some uh, new parts. Here's these clips I was talking about. They're anti-rattle clips. I could probably just reuse these, clean these all up. But like I said, they just go right here. And then you just tap them on with a hammer. So, and here's the... Uh, Here's the inside of that cover. You got your four bolts. And this thing goes, you know, it'd be on the hub. You got to take out your cotter key. And then this here goes over the nut. And you can see the cotter pin slides through them grooves. And it will actually go into that hole there when you're putting it all back together. So, but we'll clean all this up. And uh, try to get the front done. I'm actually going to change the front shocks. They're not leaking, but they're they're pretty rusty. So I'll get them changed that too. So that's kind of what's going on with the brake job. And uh, what I'll actually have to do is here's the calipers. I got damn grease on my hands. But uh, I'll actually have to show you a little later. But this is where the brakes slide up in there. And if you can imagine, there's two pistons in here that when you step on the pedal, it pushes fluid and it actually just, the caliper acts as like a clamp and it just squeezes those brake pads up against the rotor is what they do. So once again, there was kind of rust up in there. I had to clean that all out. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, kind of what we're doing here on a brake job. It's actually snowing. You can see it coming down. That was, yeah, maybe it is, I don't know. Yeah, I thought I saw snow. So, all right, working on Little Red, trying to get a roadworthy.